Hey guys, we're working on our curtains today in our RV and I wanted to kind of go through what we're doing and uh, kind of the solutions that we're looking for and why we thought this would be the best route to go. Uh, we're kind of in a hurry to get our RV renovated so we were looking for something that was fast and easy and uh, reliable also that got the look that we're looking for. So we went to Ikea and purchased uh, one of their systems that they've got. Better deal. Say it again. Better deal. Try. You try that one. Your turn. For the yark. For the yark, you may agree. At least mine was somewhat close. And you've got this uh, rod right here. This is one of the smaller rods, and it goes up to 47 inches. I think the lowest is 20 something. I can't remember now. But you can use this rod, and what's nice about it is it's got a little locking mechanism where you can twist it, um, and it unlocks and extends, and then you twist it and it locks back in that place. Well, it's supposed to. There it goes. There, now it's locked. Um, so we're using a rod system right here. And then for holding those rods, and uh, what was I thought was really clever about this, is Ikea came up with this system where they've got this bracket. And this bracket is up against the window, or next to the window, and it's going to be holding the rods. What's cool about this is, I don't know if you can tell us, this top portion is shorter than the bottom portion. So if you're going to hang one rod, you're going to attach this little bracket piece right here, and it's going to hold that rod, and you put one on each side of the window. Well, what if you want to have two rods, like that's actually what we're doing. We take this piece and you basically flip it. So now you've got the longer piece going out and you can now hold two rods. So I've got one in there right now. You can actually hold two rods with this piece. And the way it works is you've got um, a little bit of a system here where you put in this little squishy stuff. And they've got two options. Here's a thin strip, so if your rod is a lot larger, you do um, a, th a smaller, thinner strip. And then if you want to do, like what we're doing, a, th a smaller rod, you do a thicker strip. So they both come with this piece. You will need, if you want to do two, you have to buy an extra little package piece that's like this. And that package piece will give you the second piece that you can put on here. And, uh, and there's probably different ways that you can do it, but what we're choosing to do is we're actually putting this bracket closer to the back of it this little holder and so we're trying to get it so that instead of normally doing it out like this at least that's what the instruction says we're actually turning it this way so we're having it closer to the wall so when you're doing this you basically take the sticky part and I like to curve it like this and you stick it inside and I usually try to get the bottom in place or you can get like the side in place at least one side and then run it all the way down and that's how you kind of get it stuck in there now we're going to take this head off of it. So I'm going to turn mine this way and enter the screw from the top. There we go. Now I'm screwing it in. Now once you get it screwed in, I actually like to take and use uh, a drill. Just to tighten it a little bit. That way they're not moving around very much. And there we go, we've got our bracket piece. And then now all we have to do is just drive the screws in here and it's up against the wall. Two screws and we're good. Um, I forgot to mention that we got into kind of a tight spot on our two side windows that are on the side of the slide that comes out. So we couldn't get back there and actually screw in what we needed to do. We ended up taking off this piece of the of the bracket and actually driving a screw up through this spot. And doing that, we're able to get it into the ceiling uh, straight up as compared to drilling into the sides. And that seemed to work. We had to use another piece to be able to hold the second part, the second pole. And uh, it's typically used to hold electrical conduit. And so we were able to take that and use that and screw that in easier than we were to put another bracket, another circle piece in yeah. since we had to keep it we didn't have the length to be able to put in the longer piece yeah. on the top. Okay, so we bought sheer curtains from Home Goods, and they came in a pack, a long pack of four. And we were able to take one whole curtain and make 
you want to show this. Mm -hmm. Make two to go here, and then the extra was able to fit on this window. My wife's working hard in making and actually sewing and putting together the curtains that are going to go on. And we're doing a, a light mesh curtain, a wider mesh that allows for sunlight to come through. At the same time, we're going to be putting a, a blackout darker curtain or a curtain that will black out or take out the sunlight and take out the light. So we'll use that. Anyway, the curtains are going to are going in and they're looking really good. Here, look and see yourself. Say hello. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Someone have the hiccups? Uh -huh. who, who is that? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>